Hey, what's up? What's going on, nerd brethren? Welcome to another episode of The Geek Master, where we love all things geek more than DC loves to relaunch and recycle creativity over continuity. As usual, I'm your sarcastic host, Cassius Samuels, and in today's video, I'm going to take a few minutes to disseminate my thoughts on Barry Allen's arch nemesis for season two, the one and only Zoom, because it's starting to drive me crazy when I spend too much time thinking about who Zoom really is, what's his true identity, and what his uh, final end game is for season two. So jumping right in, obviously it goes without saying that Zoom's secret identity has been one of the primary driving forces of the show since season two hit the airwaves. With every episode that airs, I feel like the mystery just gets deeper and deeper to the point of pure grade A mind fuckery. Back when we started season two, us nerds on the outside of the whole CW network, uh, we had a million different theories about who Zoom could possibly be. Cats were throwing names out left and right from Earth 2 Barry Allen, to Earth 2 Henry Allen and some people even thought it could be Barry Allen from the future because of the blue lightning and that was thought to be inspired by a recent Flash story arc from the New 52 but it didn't stop there names like Earth 2 Joe West, Earth 2 Eddie Thawne I even heard crazy shit like Earth 2 Wally West uh, coming into the picture as always some of these theories have merit and some of them do not. And through the process of elimination, I feel like we can get a general idea of who isn't Zoom at least at this point. Since returning from the winter hiatus, the uh, last couple episodes of The Flash have gone a long way in eliminating people like Earth 2 Barry Allen, Earth 2 Henry Allen, probably Earth 2 Eddie Thong, and Earth 2 Joe West from the Zoom secret identity sweepstakes. In the last episode, titled Welcome to Earth 2, we saw Joe West was a lounge singer of some sort who ended up dying. We saw that Earth 2 Barry was not even a speedster. We also saw that Earth 2 Barry Allen had a great relationship with his mother and father of Earth 2. So that all kind of eliminates some of those, uh, the, those, those three characters almost immediately in my mind. And I mean, if you think about it, why would Earth 2 Henry Allen who has a good relationship with his uh, his son on Earth 2, secretly desire to steal the speed and ruin the life of his son's Earth 1 doppelganger. Not to mention, any of these people who, uh, who, who were chasing after the Flash, like Earth 2 Barry Allen, Earth 2 Henry Allen, and Earth 2 Eddie Thong, if they were chasing after the Earth 1 version of Barry Allen or, or the Flash, and they were familiar with him from Earth 2, I, I think it stands the reason that maybe they would know who his secret identity is at the same time. Maybe I'm reaching on that, but I think if, if it was one of those characters, they might know that he's the Flash just based off of some random information. Uh, I, I just don't see how to connect those dots, though. Then you have Earth 2 Eddie, who is a little harder to scratch off the list, but after seeing his name on Barry's phone in the Earth 2 universe, uh, on this episode, Welcome to Earth 2. I think that's enough to eliminate him as well because the amount of convolution necessary to explain how Earth 2 Eddie Thong fits into the picture and how he zoomed would be ridiculously stupid. But that's just me. Uh, of course, I could be completely wrong about any of these cats and they could all end up, any of them could end up being zoomed. But like I said, it just seems highly unlikely to me once you start digging a little bit deeper beneath the surface. Beneath the surface. Theories like Earth 2 Wally West or future Barry Allen also fall into this category of theories that just seem like highly unlikely. Think about it. How, how could future Barry Allen benefit from stealing speed from himself in the past? Not only would that create a paradox of epic proportions, it's a lame idea. <laughs> As for Earth 2 Wally, there isn't a whole lot of evidence that can be cited to explain why it's not him, but given the direction of the show, I just don't believe this theory has any precedent that's worth considering. Once again, that's just my opinion. You may feel different. That's fine. For me, I think Zoom's identity revolves around three possibilities at this point. Earth 1 Jay Garrick, aka Hunter Zolomon, Earth 2 Oliver Queen, or someone we haven't been introduced to yet. I think the strongest possibility out of these three 
is that Hunter Zolomon, Earth, aka Earth One Jay Garrett, can is going to end up being Zoom because I think that name drop in the reveal by Earth Two Jay Garrett when he was talking to Caitlyn and uh, explaining the whole situation as he understands it to her, I think it's just too big of a coincidence to overlook at this point. It would be also a perfect way to tie in some comic book source material since Zoom is actually Hunter Zolomon in the comics. So that would be really cool to see them do that. But that's probably too obvious, so it'll probably not end up being him, and that's just how these things work. Go figure. Earth 2 Oliver Queen is a theory I got from a friend of mine, and at first, it seems like an outlandish theory, but I think it's still a strong possibility just because nobody would see it coming whatsoever. We know that Earth 2 Oliver Queen is presumed dead on Earth 2, but what if he faked his death for some unknown reason? This theory also gets a little traction with me because I think it would explain why Zoom needs to steal speed from speedsters because he himself is not actually a speedster. And this will probably factor into why his lightning is blue instead of red or yellow. I don't know what his motives would be as far as an end game, but it's still a very interesting possibility, but still falls to number two on my list of most likely, uh, most likely outcomes to the situation. Lastly, I think it could be someone we haven't met yet. We still have over two months until the finale, so it's not too late to introduce one more character before the final act of season two. I give this idea the least amount of traction though because there are already so many moving parts to this season I think adding one more might be ill-advised because it would basically be obvious as fuck from a mile away. But only time will tell, we'll have to just wait and see. I could be dead wrong about all of this though. It could end up being that Patty Spivitt's dad from E2 or E2 Ray Palmer is Zoom. Hell, it could end up being Earth 2 Diggle for all I know. <laughs> Regardless. Regardless of who Zoom is in the end, I think this mystery is a lot of what makes this show so fascinating at this point, after such a slow and confusing start that followed up the first season. But with that being said, what do you guys think about who Zoom could possibly be? Do you agree with me on any of my theories, or do you have some crazy outlandish thoughts of your own on the matter? Leave a comment down below and let's have a discussion about it because I'm always interested to hear you guys' thoughts and ideas. Please don't forget to drop a like on the video if you found any entertainment value in this presentation. Subscribe to the channel and look me up on Facebook at The Geek Master if you got the time. That's all I got for you guys today. I will see you motherfuckers next time. Peace, bitches. I'm about to go watch me some Battlestar Galactica like a real nerd. Holla.